Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Bob Gross. It's 6.58 on Tuesday, May 18th. Today is uh, the 101st birthday of St. John Paul II. May he pray for us today. Uh, today is day five of the Novena to the Holy Spirit in preparation for the great feast of Pentecost. And I just want to pray that with you today. There is one announcement I do want to offer uh, on Wednesday. Usually we have Wednesday morning Mass over in uh, Oshin, but because of 8th grade uh, graduation, we'll be uh, only having Mass in the evening. So that's going to be tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. will be 8th grade graduation over in Oshin. So there'll be no morning Mass on Wednesday morning, just to let you know. Um, yeah, okay. Well, today uh, is day five of the Novena, and we'll be praying for the Holy Spirit's gift of, of knowledge. So why don't you pray with me today as we do day five of the Novena to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Light immortal, light divine, visit thou these hearts of thine, and our inmost being fill. The gift of knowledge. The gift of knowledge enables the soul to evaluate created things at their true worth in their relation to God. Knowledge unmasks the pretense of creatures, reveals their emptiness, and points out their only true purpose as instruments in the service of God. It shows us the loving care of God, even in adversity, and directs us to glorify him in every circumstance of life. Guided by its light, we have put first things first, and prize the friendship of God beyond all else. Knowledge is a fountain of life to him that possesses it. Let us pray. Come, O blessed spirit of knowledge, and grant that I may perceive the will of the Father. Show me the nothingness of earthly things, that I may realize their vanity, and use them only for thy glory and my own salvation looking ever beyond them to see thee and thy eternal rewards. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray seven glory bees for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, for the gift of fear of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of piety, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of courage, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of knowledge, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of counsel, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of understanding, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the gift of wisdom, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray with me the act of consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace. 
and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his opened side and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Amen. So here's our last prayer. It's a prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. And the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God, and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I really hope you have a good day today. Uh, looks like there's forecast for rain. Let's pray it actually happens. Uh, we have Mass today at 545 with Holy Hour at 430. Peace to you.